What's up guys and gals? It is a soft evening here in California and we're playing episode number two of our escapists playthrough. Oh, we're still on the laundry duty. Okay, so let's go ahead and what stats do I want to work on? Let's max out out. Oh, I took off my clothes on accident. There we go. If you run around naked, the guards do get very, very agitated with you. I've tried to tell them that it's part of my religion, but they don't seem to be buying it. I don't know. I've got, like, an appeal going. I've The whole thing's in court right now. And you'll forgive my clickety-clacking right now. I'm not sure. I don't know. The button-mashing games, they get old after a little bit, but you get used to them. After this, we should have yard time, I think, where we can just run around and do whatever we want all afternoon. So I think if I focus on speed today, we should be in pretty good shape. Now, you don't have to click the keys very fast. Once you actually get it up to the top, it does seem like it gets a little bit easier to maintain so let's go ahead and get our treadmill on fun factoid about splattercat i hate running on treadmills i am a runner i run like three to five miles every single day i think i do about 1800 to 2000 miles a year and i hate running on treadmills i loathe running on treadmills i think it is the worst i really prefer to get outside i love trail running i like trail running and if i have to i'll run on the street most days i run on the street because i don't have time to drive to the outskirts of town and run on the track or anything like that i'm not gonna go to road uh let's get that down a little bit further all right let's go to roll call how are we doing on our stats right come on mildew i'm here i'm here boss don't worry about it boss if you don't know what boss stands for it's stupid son of a bitch backwards B-O-S-S -S, and then you reverse it and so that's why prisoners call the guards boss it means stupid son of a bitch S-S-O-B I mean some people will just say that it's prison slang for like the, the guard that you're talking to but I've heard other people describe it the other way like I've heard I have a I, I know a guy that's friends with my dad's who he's a guard at Pelican Bay and he said he doesn't let the prisoners call him boss because it's stupid son of a bitch backwards so I don't know I've heard it both ways. Some guys don't really seem to care, and then other guards do seem to care, so I think it might be a regional thing as well. Let's go ahead and get our fatigue back down, and then I think we'll probably work on our speed a little bit further so that once we start getting into trouble, it affects your attack speed as well, how quickly your attack cycles, so we want to make sure that we're really, really strong and really, really fast before we go anywhere else. Now, this early part of the game, I apologize if it's not exactly thrilling, but this is what you gotta do. I mean, you come to prison, you're out of shape, you're not ready to go, and that's the first thing we gotta do, is we gotta get ourselves super, super cut, otherwise we can't take out hits on people, we can't fight with guards, the screws in this place. The screws. A screw is also a nickname. It's like boss. A screw is the nickname for a guard. You can also call them the bulls. So forth. Additionally, most prisoners, most guards will call an inmate prisoner because it's offensive. Most prisoners don't like to be called prisoners. Being called an inmate is sort of like a sign of respect, I guess. It depends what prison you're at, once again. But some prisons, the... The inmates, it's considered to be a token of pride if the guards will call you an inmate because it means they respect you. They're worried that you're going to cause some kind of problem if you call them a prisoner because it's insulting. So, you know, another one of those fun little factoids. I'm going to get to the dinner first. So let's go ahead and eat here. And we'll get that taken care of. Alright. So now we're all done with our fatigue. I'm going to skeef on out of here. And we're going to get back on the workout equipment. We're going to keep on going. I'm going to try and max out everything right now that I can. He's going to tell me to go to the go to the commissary, but we already... I'm sorry, not the commissary. He's going to send us to the kitchen for the mess hall, but we already went, so I'm not worried about it. They should now... We should have free time after this, I think. So we should be able to get all kinds of fun stuff done today. We also want to apply for a new job, one that pays better. So it's the official workout period now. God. We are really... This is like the longest run ever. How long have we been doing this? Like 40 minutes? That's a pretty good run. That's a pretty solid run. Get that heart going a little bit. My wrists are getting tired. I'm not prepared for this. I need to spend more time on the internet. Alright, so we got that right there. I'm gonna wait till the guard comes back. We're gonna ski for the guard. We're gonna go to the shower early. How are we looking on speed? So we're at 65 speed, 76 strength, and we're sitting at 44 intellect. So we need to get a little bit smarter. Now, I prefer, I wish that the game sort of did the workouts. I wish they all, the button mashing gets old for me. I don't know. I just don't like button mashing. It feels just kind of like meh to me. So now we got shower block. I'm going to try and leave the shower early. If the guards will let me get away with it. Push my luck a little bit, although it does look slightly heavy, so this might not work out. Either that or it's very, very good at generating friction, one or the other. Okay, so we were able to get out of here. Let's go ahead and we'll jump out on the workout bench. 
and after this we should have a couple hours of free time, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Let's get these reps mashed in. So we're up to 40 HP, which is 32 higher than we started with, as I recall. I think you start with... I think you start with 18 HP or whatever. So we're doing pretty well right now. The guards hit you for 7 HP every time they hit you. And so you need to be able to beat them. Okay, so we're on evening free time now. I don't know if I'm maxed out on strength just yet. I gotta be getting close. 88 is, like, good enough. We could push it, but... Meh. I think I might try and work something else out right now. See if we can maybe get something done. What were our quests looking like right now? So on our quest, we had to beat up Micah, beat up Darren, and then beat up Williams. So we have a bunch of people on our hit list right now. And I am going to try and take them out because that'll give us a really, really good supply of A, contraband, and B, it'll give us just a really good stock of random stuff that we could pawn off on other people to get a ton of money so that we can start buying crafting recipes and learning to make things. Essentially, we'll start paying people to teach us how to survive in prison. I could jump this guy right here. It'll lower his opinion of me, though, and he kind of likes me right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing in prison. Either way, we're strong enough to defend ourselves now, so I'm not going to worry about one person liking me. Making eyelashes at me while I walk down the hallways. It's all good. I'll just take it as flattery for right now because he ain't going to act on it. He ain't going to do nothing. I think if we can get... I mean, speed's looking okay. Your stats do deteriorate every single day by like a couple points. I'll keep an eye on it and I'll see how much it deteriorates by. But it is pretty quick. Like, you can't go more than a couple days without working out before you lose like everything. Additionally, if you get sent to the shoe, which is the secure housing unit or solitary confinement... If you get sent to the shoe, unfortunately, you lose a whole bunch of stats too, and you also lose like a day or two, I think. I mean, it's not as bad as it is in real prison where they could put you in the shoe for like six months to a year. But going to the shoe in this game still, I mean, you lose stat points on a screen, I guess. So it can it can reset a bunch of your work. Go ahead and shower off. For, actually, we don't need to shower. We're going to bed right after this, so that'll reset our fatigue for us. Let's go down, and how are we doing? It looks like our physical stats are looking really, really good. Let's jump on into the library. We'll read it for a little bit. See if we can increase our intelligence slightly. We want to get our intelligence up to about 80 so that we can work in the metal shop. After we work in the metal shop, what we're going to start doing is trying to figure out ways that we can get past the metal detectors. I've never figured out how to get past the metal detectors, so I am interested in figuring that out in this playthrough. There's a generator on the left-hand side of the prison. I'll actually, I'll take you guys on a walkthrough in the next day. Wait, am I too f Oh, never mind, there we go. Alright, we're pretty fatigued. But we're looking good right now. I mean, we're definitely in a position where we can start running out on some of those bounties. We need to find ourselves a weapon, though. So let's get ourselves a weapon. Let's talk to Darren, see what he's got. He's got foil, he's got a watch, and a sheet of metal. Sang has a hammer. It's expensive, but it's a good-ass weapon. He's got a screwdriver and a bag of cement. A guard's outfit. Interesting. Alright, so for now we just hang tight until they send us to our cells. Tomorrow we're going to start with the pilfering and plundering. Tomorrow is going to be a very vikingy day for us. If I can make up a word very, very rapidly to fit the situation. We're going to beat people up. We're going to steal stuff. We're going to get work done tomorrow. We're not going to be spending quite as much time on the weight bench because we're yoked out. And so it's time to bust a few eggs. Let's go back to our cell for the evening. I don't know what these splotches are on the floor. You see them every now and again. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. I think it's supposed to signify where somebody got rolled or beat up or something. Everything's still here, so we're looking good. They've locked us in. Let's go ahead and go to sleep since we have nothing else to do. If you do have things to do, like you want to crawl around in the ventilation system... So, for example, what'll happen... I'll explain the situation, so let me pause it. Guards walk back and forth after lockdown every single night. So if you decide to stay up and not go to sleep, they'll start to tell you to go to sleep. If you go up into the ventilation system, they'll notice you're missing. So you've got to kind of pull an Alcatraz Birdman type situation where you create like a plaster dummy out of all kinds of random stuff. You put it in your bed and then you can go up into the vents without the guards catching on at night. And it's interesting. I mean, it's fun. Let me wait till my fatigue's all the way down. There we go. And off we ride for another fun-filled day at prison. What's Sang got? He got the same stuff? Okay, Sang's got the same stuff. I'm thinking we need something to build a shiv out of. Any kind of weapon will do, in all honesty. I just don't want to fist fight anybody. I mean, we should have them taken out perfectly fine. We've got more than enough strength. 
So I think in a regular altercation sans weapons, we should be okay. And you'll forgive me here, I just knocked my mouse off the desk. One moment! Okay. And so I think in lieu of a weapon, we should still be okay in any of the fist fights we get into. We'll practice our pugilism shortly. I already talked to Sang, we already know what's up with him. I do wish that you could bribe the guards and things like that. That would be really, really useful because then you could bribe the guy that's always in your block to make sure he doesn't mess with you. So on today's agenda, we want to fight people, we want to get our intelligence up so that we can get a better job, and then we want to start fulfilling some of these requests that we have around. Now luckily a lot of them are hits, so we should be able to get those done just by the nature of the fact that we're already strong, we've already taken care of that. Let's put in a few reps right now just to make sure that things stay on our side, maybe get a couple more HP out. I think we can probably sneak in like 12 reps, maybe a little more. Alright, and so what we want to do now is we'll sneak into the mess hall. They're going to be grumpy, but it's fine. Our heat's not too high. We're only at 9% heat, so we'll eat food to get our fatigue back down. Let me have an appraising look at our strength. Yeah, we're doing fantastically right now. So 50 HP appears to be the last. Okay, and so now that we're done here, let's go ahead and we'll go to our job to get that done really, really fast. And all the fun stuff is going to happen right after this. Let's go ahead and pick these up, throw them into the laundry bin. And once these pop out, we'll use our hotkeys to rapidly replace them. And that's our quota for the day, however we don't want to stop right there. We want to get these all done. start hiding these in between the machines. We'll see if those get confiscated. If they do, then I'll stop doing it, but I'm gonna hang out right here. We're just gonna get a feel for what the guards are gonna do. There's no ventilation in here, right? Okay, we gotta get down off there before the guard comes in. Okay, so he just confiscated the one. I think we should be okay. We'll leave the rest where it's at. So now what we want to do is let's brush up on our intelligence while we wait for free yard time. And once free yard time is here, actually, let's go ahead and we're gonna raid other people's cells. So there's our room, or never mind. Let's go ahead and we're gonna raid this desk. Got a lighter, a battery. Okay, that's good, we'll take those. I'm gonna take the extra comb too because that can be useful. We wanna watch out for guards. If they see us in somebody else's cell, we will get in trouble. Got a bottle of medicine, I think somebody needed that. Just so got a bottle of medicine in there. Keeping an eye out for the bulls. Got a wire, that's probably gonna be useful later on, so I'll take that. And our inventory is full, so we need to drop off the remainder of this stuff. Let's go back to our cell. We can use our cabinet to store some of this stuff. We're supposed to be in the laundry right now, but nothing happens if the guards go in and we're not there because we're done with our job queue. So I think it should be okay. We'll hide this stuff in our desk. I'm going to keep the medicine on me right now. The battery is going to be particularly useful in the next little bit. We need to find a sock, though, so that we can make ourselves a sock mace. Oh, hell. Oh, good. The guard turned around. I thought he was going to come all the way down the hallway and get us talcum powder that'll be useful so we'll take that we'll take the super glue as well we don't want anybody to see us in their cell because that's gonna ruin our reputation with them but we'll keep that right there we'll keep that right there toothpaste and talcum powder if we put that together we could make ourselves putty so that's fine got the battery we got that right there okay and so at one o'clock they should tell us to go do something else what's Micah got for us Micah's got a oh, he's got a crafting note let's take that the crafting note is a wad of putty, so I already knew that, unfortunately. I just knew that already by playing the game, so that's a little bit of a letdown. I was hoping to get something new that I didn't know how to use. Midday roll call, we're going to line up. And as you can see, our strength has already dropped off. We were at 94, we're now at 90, unfortunately. So we'll just have to live with that for now. Hope I was wishing that somebody else would have a cheap ah razor blade. So let's get the crafting note. We'll get the razor blade from him. This one's for a poster, so it's a magazine plus duct tape. Okay. 
That's probably something that people will want every now and again for a quest. They'll be like, oh, can you go grab me a poster? And you'll be like, yeah, I'll totally grab you a poster. Let me go do that right this second because people in prison are always friendly and helpful. If there's one thing I know about prison, it's that everybody's friendly and helpful. And also, you're allowed to have razors for some reason. It's probably the razor out of a, a shaving razor. That tends to be where they get them in prison. Okay, afternoon free period, but we want to do now. We want to hustle. We really, really need to hustle. Let's go down here. We're going to take the comb. We're going to go to our crafting menu. We're going to make ourselves a comb blade. Now what we want to do is we'll equip the comb blade. Now be careful with this. You can't walk through contraband sensors with this. You'll get yourself in trouble. And then we need to figure out who we're hunting for. And so we want to look out for a hit right now. Is William one of them? Damn it, I bet William's one of them. Oh, William wanted the medicine. We'll get it to him in just a minute. Oh, never mind. We had to whack William, too. So we've got Micah, we've got Darren, and we've got William. And so we're just going to hang out back here because this is a blind spot. Micah, Darren, and William. And there's William. Okay, we're going to get William in the shower. There we go. Get him in the bathroom. All right, he's down. We're going to go ahead and grab everything he's got. So William's down. Wait, it said he's supposed to have a candle. Is the quest too old? I don't see a candle anywhere. Are there two Williams? Damn. Okay, so who else do we have to jump? We've got... Darren and Micah. I'm just saying. We're just gonna wait for it. There's Marshall. We don't want him. There's Gavin. We could also get a guard back here if we wanted to. Not too bad of a call to take out a guard, but it is a little bit more difficult. Darren and Micah don't appear to be using the restrooms at all. Oh well. Ah, I was going to try and take out one of the bulls. Let's get him. Okay, so we took out a guard. He's got a utility key. We can't really use that right now, but we can take the baton. Okay, so in jumping a guard, when he wakes up, he's going to check himself for his keys. So you need to be careful. There's Darren, although our HP is too low now, so we can't jump him. Let's go ahead and put the contraband in our cell. All the random stuff that we've got. Because it's dinner time. Throw the spatula, that in there. And then additionally, let's get rid of the shiv. I'm sorry, not the shiv, the tomahawk. We'll throw that in there. We've got a packet of mints. Let's bring the bottle of medicine with us. And we'll give that to whoever it was that needed it. I don't recall who. Let's look here. It was William. So let's find William. There he is. So we right-click him. Go to give. Throw that in there. And that'll complete his quest. He'll give us $18. I don't see any of the guards in here for dinner. And so I'm thinking I might be able to get away with like a workout period instead of eating. There's no reason that you have to eat in between each day, just as kind of like a heads up, like you don't need to do it. Well, either way, it meant that I got the machine I wanted, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and we know, I don't know what that guard was that I rolled. I probably should have memorized what key he had. What the hell? Hey, hey, what's up, dick? Ooh, somebody's in for a little bit of payback. So we're gonna run from him. Luckily, we've got him outsped easily. Hopefully he doesn't jump us again. So he's got a vendetta. He didn't like us at all now. Let's go ahead and we'll work on strength a little bit. We gotta watch out for that guard. He knows what's up. It's okay. We'll get him with a tomahawk again once we've got a impression thing for the keys so that we can get into different rooms. However, I'm not sure if the plastic keys count as contraband, which then makes me wonder how you get those out of various locations. Let's see here. I gave Officer Isaiah my lighter in good faith. He watched my back. He failed to deliver, so I want my payment back. No, I'm not going to jump a guard right now. We need to take a day and just, like, recuperate because we're pretty beat up. Strength is almost maxed out. We should have 47 health. Speed's looking pretty good still, too. Intellect's what we want to work on, though. 
Make sure that we get ourselves a new job by the end of tomorrow. Maybe get ourselves into the wood shop or the metal shop. I don't know how you get somebody out of a job. If the job is taken, I think you wound them or something like that. You beat them up or something and then they don't have the job anymore. Not sure. Alright, so we got a little bit of heat right now. Let's continue working out slightly. Actually, forget that. Let's see if we can sneak into the library. Alright, so we got a little bit of free time right now. Let's go ahead and get going with our reading assignment for the evening. Once our HP comes back, we'll spend a little bit of time thinking about who it is that we want to pummel, beat, and otherwise knock the blood out of. But until that point, I think we've really got to kind of just rest on our strengths at the moment. Alright, a couple more books. Alright, read some Get. Alright, there we go. Read some Nietzsche. Get ourselves all educated. There we go. Alright, super sweet. Writing stuff in the margins. Alright. And this should... There's the warden right there if you really want to jump him. However, I haven't really followed the warden around. I get the feeling the warden is probably jumpable. But I'm not sure where you would get the job done. You gotta get him somewhere though. There's gotta be a reason he's walking around. I think we got a little bit of stamina left. So let's finish this off. Okay, and now that we're fatigued, we'll walk away from here. Everything's looking good right now. Everything's looking really good. I think we should probably apply for a new job. Let's have a look over here. So, the metal shop has a vacancy. Let's do that. I've stamped your application as approved. Welcome to Prison Industries. Complete your quota and you'll get paid. Fail to meet it and consider yourself fired. Awesome, so now we work at the metal shop. I've yet to figure out how we get to work at the wood shop, but we'll figure it out. I'll weasel my way into it somehow. The wood shop's good because you can get handles and stuff from right there, and then you can build yourself tools. Do I have anything here? Let's go with the talcum powder, and then we'll take the toothpaste. And that'll make us a wad of putty. That's illegal to have, but... If we can beat up a guard tomorrow, believe me, it'll come through. It'll be worthwhile. Let's have a look at our quests and see if we got anything else. We've got Darren and Isaac that need to be worked. Let's see if we can find Derek or Isaac. There's Isaac. Let's take him out. Alright, a little fight in the yard right here. Let's take the crafting note. Yeah, I think there's a time limit on the quests, actually. It looks like there's a time limit. So let's go ahead and clear all these out since none of them are working. Or maybe I was supposed to do something else for Isaac, either way. Ooh, nunchucks! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. A wire and two timber. Sweet. I think maybe I was supposed to get something for Isaac. I don't know. Maybe I just beat up the wrong person. Either way, we got a crafting note out of it, so it works out. This is prison, there are no rules. I don't do quests just because I feel like I'm a wild card. I'm chaotic neutral. It doesn't matter to me. Evening roll call. Inmate, what is your role? Uh, I think you just kind of answered your own question. I could never make it through prison. I'm too much of a smartass. Also, I'm too small. Those are the, those two things align with each other, I think would guarantee that I would never make it through prison. I'd be in trouble. I got a real smart mouth. And I don't like when people threaten me and stuff either, so I get myself into trouble quick. It'd be bad. I only got $48. We really... I'm gonna try and do quests tomorrow. I, oh, hell. I just pushed the wrong button. See what I mean? See what I mean? Sometimes you forget that your cursor's red. Get yourself into trouble. Let me see if I can outrun these idiots. Okay, so I outran them. We're good. Kind of. I gotta make it back to my cell, though, without anybody beating the hell out of me. Pay attention to what color your cursor is. What I wish is that they would replace the attack system with a new system where you could click on anybody. So, for example, I can click like that. I wish you could click on anybody, and then if you pressed F, you would start attacking them. It'd make it easier, because then you could examine people. Right now, with this system right here, you accidentally hit people all the time if you're an idiot like me. And believe me, my idiocy just extends to the horizon. 
Believe me, it, on a flat plane, it extends a long way. I think I'm gonna break off the episode right here. My name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here for another episode of The Escapists. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I do.